What's up guys? This is Merc Music and welcome back to Black Ops 4. Today's video should be a little unique and I'll show you why. If we look at the black market, I'm at tier 30 right now. And for the days of summer event, if you get to tier 25, you get a weapon bribe. If I scroll over to reserves, you can see it right here. And like I mentioned in my last Black Ops 4 video, it guarantees that you get a no dupe ranged or mark 2 weapon from reserves. So obviously I'm excited, but I'm also kind of nervous too. I have no idea if I'm actually gonna get one of the new ranged weapons or if it's just gonna be some lousy mark 2 variant. So here we go. It's about time you turned up to get your stuff. He knows I've been waiting. Waiting to record this. I, I just oh yeah, I'm worried. I played so much to get this weapon bribe. I did not pay anything for it. Purely just grinding Black Ops 4, trying to get this as fast as I could. So here we go, dude. Fingers crossed. Let's see if we can get something good. Please, please give me one of the new weapons. Okay. I legit expected to get nothing from this, but we actually got the brand new S6 Stingray. Two round burst tactical rifle, improved handling and mobility, fires high damage serrated projectiles. I'm pretty sure this is the tactical rifle that I was talking about in my last Black Ops 4 video that I was saying was pretty much overpowered. So yeah, let's find out if this thing is broken or not. Oh, uh, this, this is going to be so unfair. I can't wait. Can't wait to ruin Black Ops 4 with my overpowered gun. <laughs> I think I'm going to take off the Matt Damon and put the new rifle on. I'm not going to have any attachments for it, so I won't know if it's completely broken yet. But this is the operator mod that apparently makes this thing so OP. It's called Impact Blast. I have no idea what it does yet but equip operator mod let's see okay so flechette projectiles explode when impacting an enemy i feel like i should go into a private match and put all the attachments on the gun to see how powerful it can get and then i'll play online try to unlock some attachments and make this thing a beast oh my you can have thermal on it gross what other attachments can you get quick draw rap rapid fire okay you get hybrid max you can have up to 36 shots that could be pretty disgusting but it's not like you can get high cal or high cal 2 for this thing i don't know the regular attachments don't worry me too much but i am going to go into custom games right now and make a class with it let's see how broken we can make this thing obviously we'll start with the impact blast operator mod i think i'll go hybrid mags probably quick draw and then we can throw one more attachment on it probably go long barrel just to extend the damage range i want to see with iron sight so i'm not going to put a sight on it quite yet so yeah this is going to be our class i'll just do a free for all in nuketown to see what i can do get some bots in here we're going to get vondi i don't think we did not get vondi no you know when it came to opening up my weapon bribe i thought there was going to be a zero percent chance of getting something good <laughs> i hate myself sometimes all right let's do this <laughs> i really hope this thing isn't broken i'm just gonna feel so cheap using it but on the flip side i'm not too mad about getting an op weapon i didn't pay to unlock my tiers i actually just got it fair and square by playing so it actually does feel kind of good to just get one of the new weapons for free although going into making this video i was 100 expecting to get nothing but garbage i was fully expecting to get a mark II variant for the combat knife okay okay does it actually explode, like, on impact? I don't know if I got a feed there or not. Yo, you don't really have to aim all that much with it. It seems like the shots are kind of like projectiles. I want to see if I can just shoot the ground, like, if I don't have to actually hit them. What? Oh, my God. These guys are just exploding. Look at that. What? Wait, hold on. Yep, he just explodes. This thing is going to be insanely OP and hardcore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Are they not dying? Well... Okay, I think it actually has to still hit their toes. You can't just shoot the ground. You, you can shoot their Blorgas toes, though. You do not have to have any aim with this weapon, though. This is hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. They just... Oh, my God. That's amazing. I think it's safe to say this is kind of broken. This is just my first impressions of the gun, my first reactions to using it. I have no way of knowing if this actually is overpowered or broken completely. Again, it's just my first reactions to it. It looks like it's just doing regular damage, but then they explode after you kill them. I mean, it's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, dude. I mean, that's ridiculous. Come on, look at that. Look at their bodies flying. That's just so obscene. I've got to play with this online. It's probably not going to be as much fun yet because I won't have the operator mod immediately. I really wish this was one of those times where they had double weapon XP going on so I could get the attachments really fast, but I'm just going to have to play normally and just grind for all the attachments. But I feel like this one's going to be worth the wait. I bet this gun's a beast in hardcore. I'm not going to have any attachments for the Stingray. It's going to be pretty naked. So I think I'm going to stock up on perks or something. I don't know. I'll put a rocket launcher on in case they get a lot of kill streaks. This, this is my class for now. It's not going to be the best. I am going to have to get some attachments before this thing gets really good. So for the time being, I'm going to myself into some hardcore kill confirmed and i'm gonna try to hit some feeds with this thing all right we got some icebreaker that's actually a decent map for attack rifle hopefully it can go beast mode and hit some feeds all right there's our class we're gonna play crash because i'm a nerd i don't know if i'm huge on the default site that they put on this thing but oh this will, this will be interesting this team is getting crushed that's already a bad sign how come every time i go to record i have to be put into a bad lobby oh well I'm still gonna try my best there we go. What I still don't fully understand about this gun is whether it shoots projectiles or if it is a hit scan weapon where it just hits instantaneously. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if I fully understand it. Six and a half hours later. There we go. I'm having such a hard time actually finding people right now, bro. I can't find anyone. <laughs> nice. We got UAV and we got the crash boost. Enemies have destroyed your assault pack. Not my assault pack. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them over here. Oh, I got a quad feed. Oh, that was random. I'll take it. Some extra health going. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> First game on, I got a quad feed with it. Yo, for Icebreaker, that's not too bad. I'm kind of already learning something interesting about the weapon. 
It's kind of good to just fire it randomly like that. It's kind of tricky. It feels like you have to lead towards your targets. Like I'll be aimed on someone and it still doesn't necessarily hit them. It's weird. Oh my goodness, they have a strike team. I, this team's getting crushed, but that quad feed's still gonna be my highlight though. That was pretty sick. First impressions, first game on. This thing's actually pretty good though. I think I'm gonna take off tracker to put some attachments on though. We got stock and we got a reflex. Didn't really get anything too great yet, but Arsenal Sandstorm. Oh no, no, just, just no. <laughs> Let's try to find a different lobby. I'm half tempted to try safeguard. I know it's probably not the best move, but maybe I'll try it later. I feel like those explosive rounds could actually be good for knocking down the robot and actually killing people near it. We'll just have to wait and see. I want to do some more hardcore. Let's see about doing some hardcore control. As long as the lobby's not too bad, you can do some pretty good stuff on hardcore control. It could just be kind of tricky playing hardcore TDM and hardcore kill confirm sometimes. It just feels like you're aimlessly wandering around the map and it's really hard to find people. Whereas when you're doing these objective game modes, it actually gives you an idea of where people are going to be, which in my opinion is better for hardcore. And then we get seaside sunset. <laughs> Gross map. If they have kill streaks, I'm leaving. I joined in late and we, well, we lost, you know. Pointless game. <laughs> wait, we still have to play? We have one more round? Oh, gross. I kind of want to get out of this lobby. This lobby is really bad. There we go. Level four. Unlock the suppressor. Oh, boy. I don't care to put a suppressor on this thing. How's that missing? I thought hardcore control was going to be faster paced. Nah. It's 5v5, so there's less people, and everyone's playing this very slowly. This is hurting my Brian. Oh. The two round burst is kind of tricky. The shots in between are kind of slow. I think in that moment, I felt like I shot the guy, but I probably didn't. Although the gun is pretty strong and it's kind of tricky to get used to. <gasps> okay, I deserve that. <laughs> Come on, guys. No respawns. We have no respawns. Well, better use this. And the clutch up, am I right? Oh. No, I'm gonna go up feet again. Oh, come on. I had to clutch that too. It was so close. This is why I need the extra attachments right here. Now what? There's one dude alive. I can't spec him. I'm just stuck here. Hello? What is going on? Oh, we lost. Okay. 3-0. Just good job, guys. I tried my best. I went 12 and 6. I tried to help these guys, but you just can't help some people. Game session no longer available. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I lost my progress. What is happening right now? I, I better not have lost my attachment progress. Okay, thank God. I need the attachments. You can't do this to me. Did I unlock this? Okay, I unlocked the suppressor. Fine. I just caught something. If you look at long barrel, it increases the damage fall off ranges and you get a faster projectile speed. So I think there might be a shot delay for the S6 Stingray. All the other attachments work pretty much the same way, though. Pretty interesting. I don't know. Just, I want some hardcore kill confirmed on Nuketown or something. Ooh, firing range. Okay, I'll take it. So many high levels in here. This is gross. I'm legit kind of worried about this lobby. I don't know if I'm gonna stay or not. Just gonna have to see how it goes. All right, let's do this. What the? Did a teammate kill him? Oh my god, come on. I killed that dude three times in a row and then I couldn't kill him there. <laughs> oh, come on. Why do we have a torque barricade here? Come on! God, dude, it's so f***ing lame. Oh my god, dude. Mesh mines, barricades, I'm losing it. It's not even that bad of a lobby, it's just these people exist. Oh. There's potential around the corner. No, nope, it's just death. It's not that bad of a lobby, though. I mean, it's not the worst. I've definitely played worse, and this isn't that bad. But, dude, some of the specialists in this game just trigger me so much. Mesh mines, barricades, razor wire. I mean, Juno's basically a dog from COD Ghosts. <laughs> I can't stand it. And yes, I know they have a bare bones playlist, but it's not hardcore. It's not bad, though. I have played it. I play in full brightness, and this map is just so dark. Oh, my. Come on, dude. That is just sad. And he got a moose mine right there. Oh, my. Dude, can we not get spawn trapped? You f we have a mantis up right now and we're getting triple killed. What is happening? No, nope. you're disgusting jump shotting out of here. Come on, they're all back here. They're just shooting down kill streaks. Dork. Hello, dork. Oh, triple. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got a sniper zest. Come on, I'm going in. Oh, and there's a dude camping behind a car. Oh, this thing is dirty. There we go. Come on, let's feed him. I'm hungry. Keep killing him. What the? <laughs> well, that's the game. <laughs> that was awkward at the end. The best on the team, though, that was pretty good. All I got unlocked was the holographic set. I'm not really getting too many attachments yet. I guess I could try it out and safeguard to see how it is in core. I'm not going to make all of my judgments purely off of playing hardcore. Obviously, almost every single gun is good in hardcore. So, yeah, I think it's pretty good to play an online match of it in core. Not just private match against recruit bots on Nuketown with all the attachments. All right, let's go. Ooh, that holographic is really big. They only have four people. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, someone has the Peacekeeper in here. Oh, they also have a S6 Stingray. Hey, what attachments do they have? Oh, this person has the explosive attachment. Oh, let's go. Is it good for taking down razor wire? I can't tell. Kinda. Oh, come on. 
I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Not a bad first round. I have picked up the Peacekeeper someone was using it in hardcore. It really is just like the Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 Peacekeeper. Although without a suppressor, it has like a much beefier sound. But yeah, it's pretty good. I don't personally have it. I don't think I will be able to get it since I... Oh my. No. No. What is that? But yeah, I was going to say that I probably won't be able to get it because I already got my weapon bribe. Oh, he's still alive! Come on, he has like no health left! Their team has a spawn trap like so hard. We're not... No one's even spawning normally. Oh my goodness. This team has got to get some control. Well, <laughs> no control. You guys are f so bad. Oh my god, you put attack beacon in the spawn. We got a team of geniuses right here, guys. Come on. The, the levels of camping is just so ridiculous. They're defending the safeguard robot. Eh. I defend the safeguard robot too. Doesn't mean you have to be a complete piece of shit. I'm the only one playing the objective. No one else is trying. I mean, to be fair, I've got a level 8, 26, and 16 on the team. And they're the three worst players on the team. So yeah, I should basically just have no expectation for the rest of this match. This is one of the most obnoxious games of safeguard I've ever played in my life. I mean, look, he's just jumping all over the place. You can calm down there, dude. I know he's excited that he got a new weapon, but wow. If you're not careful, you're going to break your X button, and then mommy's going to have to buy you a new controller, and you know she's not going to do it. Wow, camping the middle. Oh, my. Th this is what I'm playing against. Look at that. Triple kill. Wow. They're utter garbage when they don't have their razor wire and their barricades, their kill streaks, whatever else you can think of that's super cheap. Hostile UAV circling. It's already over. Wait, what? It's over? Do they have to bring it back here? What? Everyone on this team deserves to stub their toes. I'm done. Regardless of whether or not you pay for the tiers or if you grind for the tiers and you get a new ranged weapon that's apparently overpowered, it doesn't matter because chances are you're playing against a team of five or six people who have all partied up. They all have Twitch TV in their clan tag or their PSN or their Xbox gamer tag. And chances are they just want to spawn trap you with overpowered weapons. They just want to get their kill streaks and just destroy your hopes and dreams. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this Black Ops 4 video. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more Black Ops 4 stuff or possibly some more videos using the S6 Stingray, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Hey.